Whiskers, the wicked. The first crack in the veneer of normalcy appeared on a Tuesday. It was a Tuesday like any other, filled with the humdrum routine of office life. The coffee was lukewarm, the emails were tedious, and the fluorescent lights buzzed with an oppressive uniformity. But then, my phone buzzed, displaying a picture of Whiskers, my cat, perched precariously on the edge of a bookshelf, his eyes glowing an unnatural emerald green. He's just playing, I told my partner Liam, dismissing it as a quirk. But that night, as I fell asleep, I swear I heard a low growl coming from the bedroom, a sound that was distinctly not feline. Whiskers had been a rescue, a scrawny, skittish creature with matted fur and a haunted look in his eyes. We'd found him abandoned near the park, a shivering ball of fur. Liam, ever the sucker for a sad story, had insisted on taking him in. I, being more practical, had been hesitant. But Whiskers grew on me, his skittishness turning into a playful affection, his once matted fur becoming a sleek black coat. The following week, the incidents escalated. Whiskers started to behave erratically. He would stare at the walls for hours, his eyes twitching, a manic glint in their depths. He hissed at random objects, his fur bristling, a silent scream building in his throat. The growls, too, became more frequent, a guttural, almost human sound. One evening, as Liam and I relaxed on the couch after dinner, Whiskers leapt onto the coffee table, a strange, almost predatory look in his eyes. He knocked over a glass, the contents shattering on the floor. Startled, Liam reached for him, but the cat recoiled, his eyes flashing bright green again. The air in the living room grew cold, a chill that seemed to seep from Whiskers himself. He hissed, then vanished, disappearing into the shadows. Something's wrong with him, I said, my voice trembling. We need to take him to the vet. Liam, however, became increasingly agitated. He's just a cat, Jules, he said, his voice strained. You're overreacting. The next few days were a blur of escalating chaos. Whiskers would disappear for hours, reappearing with scratches on his body, his eyes burning with a feverish intensity. He started to growl at Liam, who, despite his anxiety, refused to believe anything was wrong. He'd wake up to my desperate pleas for him to wake up, a low growl echoing in the room, the sound of Whiskers' claws scraping against the floor. One morning I awoke to a blood-curdling scream. I rushed to the bedroom only to find Liam lying on the floor, his face contorted in pain, his arm bleeding profusely. On the bed, perched on the pillow, sat Whiskers, his eyes glowing an eerie green, his mouth smeared with blood. The vet, a kindly old woman with a knowing glint in her eyes, examined Whiskers with a chilling calm. He's not just a cat, dear, she whispered, her voice a rasping whisper. He's something else entirely. I stared at the vet, my mind reeling. What do you mean? He's a vessel, she said, her gaze fixed on Whiskers, who sat on the examination table, his eyes following her movements with a chilling intensity. A conduit for something dark, something ancient. She explained that Whiskers, in his former life, had been a feral cat, a creature of the wild, a hunter. In the darkness of his existence, he had succumbed to something evil, something that had infested his very soul. Now, that darkness was manifesting in our home, feeding on our fear. The vet's words hung in the air, heavy and ominous. She offered no solution, no hope. Her only advice was to get rid of Whiskers, to banish him from our lives before he consumed us all. Later that night, as I loaded Whiskers into a carrier, his eyes locked onto mine, a malevolent glint in their depths. He purred a low, guttural sound that sent shivers down my spine. We drove for hours, away from our home, away from the life we once knew. As we reached a secluded clearing, I opened the carrier. He looked at me with a chilling serenity, his green eyes burning with an unholy light. Then he leaped out of the carrier and vanished into the darkness. I never saw Whiskers again. But I know, with a chilling certainty, that the darkness he carried with him, the darkness that lurked in his heart, 
still exists somewhere, waiting for its next victim. And I know that it will not be long before it finds them. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.